today is Gentry Day. And Gentry Day means one thing, away day. And it's our final away day of the season. What's going on guys? JSGC Football here and we are here for another match vlog. Today we're going to be going to Barnsley. Oh, well, it's Barnsley taking on Preston North End. Just like we did in 2019, we're suited and booted, bowler hats on. Gentry Day, a very special day for Preston North End fans, so I'm taking part here, uh, doing my bit for the cause in the away end. Um, but yeah, Gentry Day, if you're wondering, is a very special day where Preston North End fans pay their honour and respects to all the fans and all those associated with the football club who have sadly passed away in the last year. Uh, it's been voted for as Preston North End Gentry Day by their fans and then South Yorkshire Police came along that made it an early kickoff rather than a 3pm kickoff despite there being no previous aggro between the two clubs and the two sets of fans uh, and then uh, they've decided that there's nowhere for anyone to go and have a drink in Barnsley. They wanted to be an in and out job. He limited the uh, restriction on the capacity as well. Normally 4,000 is given at Oakwell and they've been limited to just 3,000. So Preston North End, the fans have found it pretty unwelcoming. Uh, and because of that, they're only taking 2,000 fans down to Barnsley. And considering it's just over the Pennines, uh, I feel like the away day has slightly been impacted by South Yorkshire Police. It isn't going to stop us doing this away day though. It's one we want to tick off. Barnsley already relegated. Preston's got nothing to play for. So we're we're here to just go and enjoy ourselves and have a good day on this away day. So we are just going to head across now on the motorway. I'm very tired. I've been away. So Aaron here, Nick Sid, he's doing the driving yeah. today. Uh, unlike me for a change. So thank you very much for that. Um, and yeah, we will see you in Barnsley. Don't forget, subscribe if you're new around here and enjoying the content. Plenty more football vlogs and stuff to come. Also, don't forget as well to uh, leave a thumbs up if you enjoy this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And we would appreciate you sharing the video so we can uh, spread the word of our channel. We look for the channel to grow. We'll see you on our trip to Barnsley. Let's go. You drive around. Yeah, it's comfortable. It's gonna say you should have known around Leeds, but it's what to expect. You get congestion, but other than that, I can't complain really. Plenty of time, plenty of progress, and here we are in Bonza, guys. Uh, I think it'll be a tight game, really. It's pressing out of form, Bonza are out of form. I'm gonna stick my neck. 1 0 Preston, but I think 0 0. He reckons getting the goal if there is to be one. If there's to be one, I will go for Archer. Cameron Archer, safe bet. Um, I'm going to have both teams to score. Right. Reckon fresh out the bars, I will say. 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. Yeah. I've got one on Preston. I think Preston could sneak it 2-1. I'm going to go for 1-1, one, one, though. And I think you're right, Cameron Archer getting a goal for p and &E. I think there'll be a goal either half. I'm going for Preston to score first, Barnsley to score uh, and equalise yep. in, the, in the second half. Uh, like you said, neither team's got anything to play for. Barnsley already relegated. Preston aren't getting relegated. They're not getting promoted. No, Their motivation, <laughs> try and finish over Blackpool. But it's not, not really motivation, is it? No. <laughs> it's a table oh, club. Yeah. We're just going to go and enjoy ourselves. Right. My bowl hat's in the back. We'll go and get that locked and loaded and head to Oakwell. We uh, stand out like a sore thumb here, Aaron. <laughs> Just a bit here we are in Barnsley. Fabio, let's go. Quiet here in Barnsley. Don't think Barnsley's woken up yet. We're looking at what time is it, Aaron? What's it, 11? Go to 11. Not awake yet. 
Why is this an early kickoff? Got our first views of Oakwell. How was your entrance into Barnsley? I go for it, right? Well, we've been restricted, so come and walk around Oakwell. Obviously, got the road orders from South Yorkshire Police. <laughs> well, I think it has to be one of the unfriendliest welcomes we've ever had coming to Nowhere Ground. Because they're not at Barnsley, because they're not getting the supporters of the club. Club shops, Because right? everything from the police seemed nice enough, but well, they got their orders. But I think it's just well over the top of for what they're expecting. Mm. I agree. Thank you very much. Four pound hot dog. <laughs> Fabulous. And four pound pints that get filled up to the when you ask for cider and get Carlin and then ask again, are you sure that cider and they say yes? And it's not. On the upside, we paid with a £20 note, it came to £17.60 in total, and the lady had no idea what she was doing and gave us £17.60 back in change. So actually it's cost us £2.40 for two pints and two hot dogs. Not bad. Right, Aaron, how's that hot dog? With brown sauce. With brown sauce, because I've not got ketchup. I found <laughs> one sachet of ketchup. It's alright, actually. Um, give it a five out of ten, it's alright. Five out of ten, what about the drink? Carlin, uh... It's Carlin. Nobody likes Carlin. Why would it, why would anybody ask for Carlin? Oh, it's supposed to be stuff for press. Oh well. Mm. It's Carlin. So people are looking to get this out of Barnes like that after getting no pool. But since it's Carlin, uh, two on seven. Right, what's food and drink getting overall? So I gave this five, that's a two, so seven out of twenty. So three and a half out of ten. Fabulous. But price wise, 10 out of 10. I think we should knock that up then for getting that change back. I'm going to knock that up to a 5. <laughs> 5 out of 10 for food and drink for the discount. More. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely don't think maths is a strong point here on the turnstile in Barnsley. £9.60 for two pints. A pint, one pint is £4.20. Times that by two is eight pounds forty, but they're doing a special offer where you can pay a whole one pound twenty extra. What? Managed to get some cider now, Aaron. <laughs> but the thing you're looking for. It's funny. So yeah. So funny. Right, what's, your, what's your thoughts on there? Just about like the turnstile and Barnsley as a whole at the moment. Before we've gone and had a look at the uh, ground upstairs. Total well was ushered out as expected this anyway, like to be marched in like that like, frog dude. I don't know, as you can see there's absolutely yeah, no aggro. No, no, no aggro, nice and peaceful really. <laughs> so over the top. <laughs> so, so it's very new. It's because I've not got to criticise Barnes, so I can't criticise them. We can't local. fairly comment, can we? Yeah. We can't give a fair opinion on what the town centre's like, what the pubs yeah. are like, how welcoming the people are and everything. We, we can't comment on that. I gave a fair reflection on that, just be marching, but I drove down here today, so... Yeah. I know if we came by a train, like, we supposed to, you would have been, uh, it's not. It's normally just, it's normally not too expensive on the train. It's normally, we can make a really good day oh, yeah. of this, so... There's a few places that I had, uh, I all, but obviously yeah. that's gone out the window. It's in and out with Anyway, right, we're gonna drink our drinks. Yep, I will go upstairs. Point. On the ground, I like it. I just love the old style like that. But so it's got the much two, uh, three modern stand, but like the old one looks like a pavilion. It's more it's modern, stand. Stand, yeah. More. But modern. I like it because so it has character. I really, really like the design of the stadium. 
was saying hot just over 23k than the old one. Yeah. For me, I like it. Fun fact. 8 out of 10, Andy. The next football stadium goal on the JSGC main channel yeah. is Oakwell. I'll be overtaking it soon, so there we go. I think 200. 200 I think. So very close, very close. I like it. We'll see what atmosphere gets generated here. It's a nice looking stadium. I don't mind it. I know. I'll give it out. I like it. Something I like about odd designs, I like. Yeah. Because I'm modernised. Yeah. So today's video we're going to be rating, we've done the food and drink, we're going to, I'm going to give that, we're going to sit right down the middle, 5 out of 10. We're also going to be rating atmosphere and we're also going to be rating is it value for money. So today's ticket has cost us I think £23 in total. The food and drink all together with our <laughs> cut price discount has cost us just Thank over you. £11. And then we've driven here today, so we've just had expensive fuel charges, which Aaron can then lie to me about how much that has cost. 15 quid, I'd say. Okay, so, so it's not bad value for money at the moment. Um, we'll see. We'll see as the game goes on as to whether it is value for money. I mean, if you end up losing like 4 or 5 nil, I imagine <laughs> the opinion might change. I hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> Just clarify, it's the West Stand, but said it's all the old fashioned West. Yeah. It, it, kind of stand, that's West. it reminds me of two. It reminds me kind of your old pavilion. It, does, it, does. it, reminds me of. it also reminds me a lot of uh, Peterborough Away, the stand we were in. Yeah. But it reminds me. Yeah, like modern stand and the old stands like that, the one yeah. that they never round to. Yeah. Has character, like I said, that's the way they're looking for that. Has character. So. Yeah. Until the hat. But yes, happy gentry happy day. Happy gentry day. Last away game of the season. So there's the last one, yeah. Happy end of the season. I've just realised with how overzealous the policing has been here. They had a sniffer dog outside that was sniffing around. But we didn't actually get search coming in. Which just doesn't make sense with everything that's been put in place. I find it so strange and so silly. I really do. Okay, Taylor, your turn then. And uh, let us know who's uh, lining up for the Reds today. Social distance in an away day. <laughs> Anti-social. <laughs> nothing. I still think any fact to do outside. I can as well, yeah. This has nothing to do with the fact that I've been in Paris for the last five days and I've done, what was it, 43 miles of walking. That I'm exhausted. I mean, I got back at half past one in the morning to be up early for this away day and my enthusiasm for nothing to play for, no offence, is, is quite low. I'm happy to sit here and just chill out, yeah? Might have been a bit more personal, Karen, if it was a 3 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Yeah, I'm still queuing up. We're ready nearly to kick off here. I don't know what the attendance is going to be today. tradition here with Gentry Day. Boring start 
too much happening at the moment. Just in the first shot of the game, well worked by Preston North End from right to left, squaring it into the centre, ricocheted. Shot though over the crossbar, stays nil nil here in the first ten. Over 10 minutes into the game, we just see two coaches of Preston fans being unloaded. I don't know what the holdup is there. Everything just seems a bit disorganised today, doesn't it? <laughs> this is a strange atmosphere for a strange game. A strange away game, this one. Really strange. Weird. He's deflated. Everyone just seems like they can't be bothered. Yeah, they've got flip flops, press and bounce, they are. It's the same, it's easy. I've got my I'm I'm currently resting my legs. Very poor defending from PNE, allowing Barnsley to actually pull a ball back. Was that ball being pulled back? Good position from Marsh, he's just took that into the back of the net. PNE aren't happy, they feel like it was out of play. Um, not dealt with by Preston in the end there. 1-0 uh, Barnsley lead here. In a flat game, there's not really had much happening. Preston's had one. Team now. Preston's had one opportunity to over the crossbar. Barnsley's had their one opportunity and put it into the back of the net. One no Barnsley. Finished by DJ that. Uh, just played across. Preston fans are encouraging to shoot. Has it across, gets it to Johnson on the left hand side and his left foot. Strokes it beyond the keeper to the far post. Posted in. 1 1. My prediction of 1 1 is now in. We still have plenty of time to play here. Yeah. <laughs> Might be in for an entertaining, high scoring game, maybe. in on half time here both teams seem to just starting to close down the space a little bit so the game isn't as open as what it first started with where we got them couple of goals it could be maybe a, a, a fluke a little bit of luck possibly a set piece that might need be needed here to break these two teams down as Barnes has got themselves a free kick in a pretty good position here to uh, whip the ball in and see if they can get ahead onto it uh, and see if they can test Daniel Everson in goal. <laughs> Last minute pressure being put on here in the first half by PNE. Corner after just having a free kick in a decent area. Can they go in at half time with the lead? Any again, I reckon this is the last chance before half time. I'm Fort St. Aram. Quite an open game, I've been a bit more confident. Been an entertaining, been an entertaining first half, I would say. 
quite possibly, I hope so. Going to be attacking our end for the second half. Yeah, it's been all right, actually. I've quite, uh, I've quite enjoyed it. I think it's been a good game. Hopefully we can have some more goals. If we can get them three points, but collectively in the present this afternoon. <laughs> Try and finish over them. them. <laughs> right, I'd say that, yeah, pretty much. That's, uh, that's all there is to the game at the moment. Pretty open-ended game with two teams that have nothing to play for. See what the second half brings. game off I think yeah massive one-on-one -on -one opportunity there for PNE just squared across just needed took it into the back of the net saved by the keeper that should have been 3-1 and three points for PNE You've not put your opportunity away this game isn't to bed yet Aaron full time here the game's gone pretty flat we've we got two or three minutes left of normal time still 3-1 PNE can Barnsley maybe get themselves a goal see if they can have maybe one opportunity to try and salvage something from the game can PNE wrap things up and get themselves a fourth on a PNE now into three minutes of added on time and that will be three points for PNE how does it feel Aaron three points unbeaten to three goals Unbeaten since. That's a great question. We'll get back to you on that. We're now unbeaten away from home. Four games. Four games. Getting our little, baby, getting our little run going. Unbeaten since Reading back in August. Corner materialises into nothing. So over Aaron informs me the only time that PNE have scored three this season in the championship is against Swansea City back in August. So there we go. Preston North End win. It's a good win, isn't it? Yes. A three one victory. Um where you up to now in the league? We'll go up one place, fifteenth. So PNE up to 15th in the championship, <laughs> up one place. That's only momentarily as well, pending other results from this afternoon, of course, with this being the early kickoff, that's going to happen. Aaron's just taking me on a marathon walk, so my glasses are all steamed up, coats off, bowler hats in the back. I am tired, and it's hot as well, so we're going to get the uh, the window open and we'll cool down. In terms of a review then, we're going for a 5 out of 10 for food and drink. Atmosphere was very subdued, very quiet. Early kickoff, ruined by South Yorkshire police. I will add, I found the police officers and everyone that we interacted with very reasonable whilst we were there. It's just a decision that's been made way over their head. A ludicrous decision in my opinion. Made the atmosphere really flat, so I'm probably going to give it a 3 out of 10. In terms of value for money, twenty. £23 for the ticket, seeing Preston North End win on the road with a pretty entertaining game in the championship with some good quality, some good finishing in the end in front of goal and Daniel Johnson showing his quality as well. I think value for money there was probably an 8 out of 10 for everything completed. So that gives Barnsley a final score of 16 
out of 30, just over five out of 10 on the average, which I think is a fair reflection on this uh, away day. But would recommend if you want to go, but that's only if uh, you are wanting to go to Barnsley, you've not done it already, and it's not made an early kickoff. So yeah, there we go. That's been the vlog. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. If you did enjoy the vlog, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Subscribe as well. Plenty more football content, plenty more football vlogs, plenty more away days and PNE things with Aaron and everything for everyone to look forward to. So we'll see you then. Another gentry day though. Ticked off and another three points for Preston on the road. So thank you everybody for watching and we'll see you all again very soon with my steamed up glasses. Peace. Ciao for now.